everybody. This is Ral Hellcat back at you again with another cool video. Actually, this is a quick video. Uh, we have our first install on the track call. Yes, first modification since I've gotten the vehicle. Um, this is a cheater mod, sort of, because I already got this for the Jeep Grand Cherokee high altitude that I had uh, before I got this. So it really was for that vehicle. I never installed it, so I'm not going to take the time to install it. Um, Jeep track on. So without further ado, let me show you what we're going to install. Also, quick shout out to Street Speed, Mike, Street Speed 717. Got the shirt from you, buddy. Love the shirt. Thank you very much. It was for that contest to win the Corvette. Didn't win the Corvette, but I still love the shirt. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have the box for the mod. So what's in this box? I don't know. I'll have to open up and find out. Here, some scissors here. to open this I don't know what it is I do but <laughs> I mean let's see it's not like it's hermetically sealed or anything all right let's see boxy boxy and hey you know what's in this box <laughs> Another box. <laughs> and some packing stuff. All right, so let's put the scissors down for just a sec. And now pull out a bunch of packing stuff. All right, I'm gonna flip this over. And we'll see what's in the box. Medically sealed in the here. Yeah, that'd be an easier. There's gotta be a better way. Here we go. Oh, and then rip in the other box. Damn. Pack this, all right. Cut, I'll probably right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, it was like a box within a box within a box. Somebody must have repacked this because look at this thing I, I tore it open oh you can't see I tore it open just to get at it well without further ado I guess you already know it's another WeatherTech product yes WeatherTech cargo liner this is in Spanish this time yeah on um, hey, the last time I, sh I showed this I showed the WeatherTech it was in Spanish I did it like this so when in Spanish or in English it's the same product it is the WeatherTech cargo liner for the back of the Jeep so uh, it's always the first purchase of anything that I get in terms of being an SUV or even when I got the Hellcat you have to get these because I mean it just ruins the carpet in the back and if you ever happen to sell the vehicle it'll be looking brand new new if you ever took the uh, the floor liner out the carpet will still look brand new so I truly truly love the WeatherTech products it is quality as uh, honestly OCD would say, yeah, honestly OCD, shout out to you, buddy, because you're the one that got me inspired for WeatherTech in the first place with the Hellcat Charger, and now you've inspired me, at least uh, with the floor mats. Uh, I just saw your video. Uh, this is for the trunk liner, which I already have. Uh, the floor mats are in order, so they haven't come in yet, so we're going to make a separate video on that. But without further ado, let's unbox this and get it installed. Should be a quick install. But I have a trick to it, because... Uh, You'll see in just a moment here. Well, let me uh, open the back. Before we do that, let me show you what it looks like back here. Okay, so this is what it looks like brandy new. Uh, haven't done my walkthrough yet and the introduction to the vehicle yet, but in any case, this is before. I think I've only used it once for putting stuff back here, but nothing that hurt the carpet. It was just uh, a couple things at Home Depot, but nothing too big and nothing too much. But that's what I should have done in the first place. So, so this is what it looks like. Brandy spanking new. Doesn't, I already vacuumed it out uh, yesterday, so it looks good. And uh, this is where we're gonna install it. So let's get this thing unboxed again. Well, unboxed, unboxed out of the, uh, the WeatherTech uh, box. Okay. <laughs> Cut. Okay, so got my box. 
inside the text box. I'm going to get open with that. Oh, not in the frame here. It is hot today in New Jersey. I tell you, yesterday would have been a better day to do this because it was hot, but it, it was in the 80s, but it was very little humidity. Today it's it's 84 degrees and it's humid again. So, so, so I got a fun fact here, fun story. So my friend at honestly OCD, he is gonna say the same, or he said the same thing I'm gonna say now. So get rid of the box. I don't need that anymore. Comes with instructions, but it's pretty mangled. I don't think we need really instructions, but thank you WeatherTech for providing that for me. All right, so. This comes into play what we're going to do. We're going to throw the cardio liner in. Okay, throw it in. Oh, I have it in backwards. So at least the only thing you have to remember is that the WeatherTech logo goes on the back. So put this back here. Okay. As always, as always, a perfect fit. So. This is what I'm going to show you real quick as to the issue we have with the weather. See, tech. it's all kind of, well, not should say this, it's not flat. And we want it to be flat. So, how do we cure this? Well, we have what I call my improvised help here, and these bags are going to help me out. Basically, they're just full of water. Or as we say in Brooklyn, water. Both are filled with water. Give it some weight. Nice and clean, they're not dirty. And we're going to put this in the back, just like we did with uh, the girlfriend's compass. We're going to do the same thing with this. So without further ado, let me uh, fully install this with the, uh, the bags of water. And we'll show you how it looks like after I'm done. Okay, we have our bags here. But let me just show you something as to what I wanted to show you before in terms of weather tech, in terms of quality. Look at this. You have your little, uh, I guess where the, the wheel well is. And then you have your wheel well on the other side. And notice how precise the laser cut is so that it fits snug like a glove. So this is the back part, because it's so snug, and I have the seats uh, lean back a little bit, it actually helps with the, the mat going down flat without having to put any weight on it. So that's good. Then I have over here, this is where the speaker is. And this where when it's finished, it finishes uh, settling, it's going to be perfect. It's not going to touch the uh, bezel around the speaker, so that's perfect. Notice how it's perfectly laser cut here. Um, so you have your little latch you have access to. You have your WeatherTech badge. You have your, your stainless accent, and you have no interference whatsoever with the tailgate going down once we put it down. And then we put it on this side here. Notice how it's still perfectly in place, and you still have access to your little cubby and it's got the lip here in case you spill any fluids which if you remember me saying before with the Hellcat and I had forgotten to take out the ice that was in the back of the I had a bag like this of the filled with water and the ice melted and when I did a run the bag had tipped over and the water went everywhere but it stayed within the floor liner or I should say the trunk liner and never got into any other part of the car so that's why we call this quality. This is why we call this weather tech. This is why we call this an essential thing. Uh, I believe this cost me about a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars. Again, I bought it on eBay, but I really buy it through the um, the weather tech owned site for for eBay. So it's not like I bought it from a third party. I did buy it from weather tech directly. Uh, just that it's easier through eBay because. I use PayPal and it's also protected by eBay in case it gets lost in the mail. So without further ado, I think the install is complete. Not much else to say except uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up. When I do the floor mats, I'll do a follow-up video and I'll show you how flat this is without having to put bags of water back here. But I would say that this has to stay in for about 24 hours and then tomorrow at this time we'll take the bags out and be nice and flat. So. We have now completed the uh, installation, and we're good to go. Okay, well, uh, this is going to end the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, it was a nice short one, WeatherTech, floor liner. Uh, you got to get it if, if you have any Jeep. 
Durang, this will fit the Durango, Jeep, any SUV, uh, Jeep Compass, the Hellcat Charger. Again, you have to look up your vehicle online. Uh, you can either go directly to the WeatherTech site or you can go to uh, the eBay, uh, WeatherTech on eBay site and just type in your information as far as the make and model of the car of the year and you have a laser cut floor mat or cargo mat I should say that's going to be perfect for your vehicle each and every time and it comes in different colors so in this case I got black because the interior of my car the, the Hawk is black and uh, I believe it also comes in gray and tan if you have different uh, let's say a Summit or an Overland that has the, the brown interior the, with a light gray interior this will match it so I have my floor mats coming in sorry that this video couldn't encompass that as well but they're not in yet and when they come in I'll do another quick video on that install those and uh, we'll be good to go so without further ado uh, this is Ralph Hellcat saying goodbye enjoy the rest of your day peace and if you haven't already done so and if you like the video hit the like button tap the subscribe button tap the bell notification to see more of my videos and enjoy the rest of your day peace Hey, this is Rahul Cat back at you again with another cool video. This is going to be another quickie. Uh, remember the weather tech that we did last week? So, or the other day? Alright, so we do a quick follow up of the, on the weather tech in the back. Weather tech in the back looks good. Adjust this a little bit. Alright, so it's nice and flat now. Don't need the, the cases of water in the back, but it's nice and flat. Fits like a glove. Fits perfect. Very happy with it. So, so let's go.